Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Let's Talk. Wow, what an incredibly busy week it's been at our office. Not that we're working, but we're close. The phone has been ringing, we are now booking appointments, emailing and so forth, so we're getting ready to open up. Now just to let you know, phase one opened, we were not part of phase one. I'm not sure if we're phase two. So what we're going ahead to do now is we are now um, booking appointments for mid-July. I know it's a ways. And I want to talk about that and what some of our clients have been dealing with since this time and what, what specifically has us incredibly riled up this week. So we're booking, please go to our corporate website, itrpolygraph.com. At the top of the page is a contact button. Hit that contact button. It'll open up to an email. My name is Leslie. You can email me letting me know that you'd like to book an appointment. And let me know where you live. Are you traveling? Are you living close? Do you need a morning appointment, an afternoon appointment, or anything else like that? And I'm going to email you back. Um, this episode is... Um, I'm, I'm, we were called at the beginning, by, called by uh, some clients, and, and I've had several people call with this same type of situation. And I always speak in very broad terms when clients call us and how I share this. I never share who somebody is or anything like that. I do not break privilege, but I am going to give you examples of the types of clients that come to us and the types of things that we see. No different than this week. And um, quite frankly, it's this. The least of these. People who are marginalized. And society and how sometimes other people in positions of power and authority over somebody is able to manipulate and control and lie about and say they make things up. They've had bad behavior. Take this for instance, say there's an affair but the affair is between somebody who is in great power and has a wife, the affair happens, and the mistress, the person who was sleeping with the husband, she tells. But then the husband says, oh, absolutely not, wasn't me. You know what, it was her. She seduced me, right? She seduced me. And, and then they turn around and they say, well, you should believe me because I'm a, I'm, this is my career and, and this is my education and this is, this is what I have. And who is this? Who is this person? Maybe they have a sordid past. Maybe they've even admitted to their past and they're dealing with their past. And because they've admitted and they're dealing with their past, now whoever they've admitted and dealing with it is now take, using that and taking advantage of them. Maybe it's regarding their faith. Maybe it's regarding in a family. Maybe it's regarding um, any, a number of things. Maybe has that ever happened to you? That somebody has falsely accused you, that you went to tell the truth and nobody believed you, and in fact turned it around and said, no, you're the liar, you did that. And you're going, what are you talking about? It would never be me. I wouldn't do that. So much so that I've had clients call over this whole time of COVID from March till now that I have literally, this is one of the reasons why, again, please understand why we make this video series every Friday because we can't do the polygraph, is to help people who are struggling with being lied about and their character ruined, and, and maybe they're being wrongly sued, maybe they're being wrongly divorced, maybe they've been wrongly fired, completely bullied and lied about. I've dealt with that all this week. And I'll tell you how, there's a, there's a situation too that if, if this is 
happening to you, I want you to do something like this. I might not be able to test you. I might not be able to test you at all. But I am willing to offer this service. If you would like to call our office and you want to say, you know what, um, maybe for whatever reason, I can't take the polygraph myself, but this person has done this to me and they say that they didn't, I will call that person for you and I'm going to ask them if they would like to take the polygraph to um, prove that what they're saying is true. If they're calling you a liar, then I'm asking them to take the polygraph. I would like to offer you the service, you the tool of the polygraph to prove that what you're saying is true. So if you want to say that that person is the liar, that this one, that that person did this and this and this and it was never me, then you take the test. And if I call you and I ask you to take the test and you kind of him and haw and, and you're like, whoa, what is this? And I don't know. And who's calling? And blah, blah, blah. That's kind of the wrong answer. If it were me, I wouldn't ever want to be called a liar. And if there was a science, a proven science, which the polygraph is, if there was a proven science and a tool for me to, to use and to take to prove that what I'm saying is true, I'll take it. And I'd say, absolutely. Ha, if somebody's calling me a liar, I'll take the test. So when, if that is you, I want to offer that service to you. I, I want us to be an advocate for the least of these. We will go to bat for you. Let us call the person who you've accused. That's a great way of looking at it. Because sometimes where somebody is even mentally after what's going on is being used against them, then maybe taking the test, maybe they have PTSD, maybe it's incredibly traumatic. Instead of testing the victim, I want to test the accused. If you say you didn't do it, then please call our office and make an appointment to use the polygraph as a tool to prove that what you're saying is true. But I also want to say this, there will come a time when we all have to give an account of how we lived our life. And if you have, have been given the gift of, of prestige and a wonderful life and, and money and, 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 and wealth and fame and everything, but you use it in a way to manipulate and rob and con and get away with lying and cheating and stealing in order to claw your way to the top, I'd hate to be you. That is how we do things here at uh, ITR Polygraph. And by the way, we don't sell passes around here. I guess on Google, you can do that kind of thing. That is actually the lowest of low. So please take this uh, very seriously. The polygraph is a proven science. We have been court ordered by uh, Edmonton City Courts. Please look that up. And please call our office to discuss this further of how we can help you the least of these. They are on our hearts and we are an advocate for you. Thank you for tuning in today. We'll talk next week. Bye now.